Do you ever just sit down and think to yourself, Damn, I want to be an artist and draw the next Mona Lisa. I can draw a circle. This is a DSi. Released in 2008, this was sort of a upgrade to the already existing DS Lite. Now, it could play all your normal DS games, it may not seem that special at first, but when you boot it up, HOLY SHIT SQUARES! This is the menu screen, aka the biggest difference between the original DS systems and the DS Lite. On this console, you don't have to reset this thing every time you sneeze. <laughs> Now at first, none of these icons may seem all that cool other than the out of service digital store, but then you move to the end and see the frog thing. This is Flipnote Studio, probably one of the most iconic apps on the DSi. When you boot it, you're greeted with two options. Do you want to draw a flipnote or view a flipnote? Do you want to pick the red pill or the blue? So I decided to draw, which is also when I realized the pen on the side of the DS wasn't made to be lost, but was actually made to draw amazing animations. Holy shit. After messing around for a bit, I think I finally got the hang of things. So here's my absolutely amazing gallery of flip notes I made while using this software. So after making all those Oscar-worthy masterpieces, why don't I upload them to the internet? Never mind. Overall, pretty good animation software if you're looking to dabble in doing art or animation, but there is one issue. LeapFrog has better animation software.